Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be answering a question that someone left in my comments about whether this strap that I purchased is causing wear and tear to my Louis Vuitton on the go. And I will provide a review update. So if you're interested, just keep watching. Okay, so just for the specs of it all, I do want to mention that I have the original on the go, which has the original reverse monogram straps. This item is made now with leather straps, I believe. And so I have the one that originally came with the two different straps. I do stuff it. And so here is the inside. And I'm gonna share with you all I did a comparison of this bag to the Marc Jacobs, the tote bag. And I'll have that review link down below in case you're interested in comparing the tote to the on the go and you're on the fence on which one to get. And I really felt like because I kept an insert in this bag, it kind of got very boxy because I noticed that a lot of people's bag does clothes here like that like a grocery bag <laughs> almost like it closes but I think I had the insert in mind for so long that it kind of imprinted the shape of it not just on the sides but also on the front like you can kind of see the square there where the insert was inside of it I love inserts I think they're amazing I recommend them to protect your item but i don't know that i would store them in the bag like i'm really disappointed that it did that to this bag and i've taken it out and just stuffed it with some packing that come in packages that are sent in the mail and i just kind of have been trying to take back the shape of this bag and so I did want to mention that, see here you can see that the imprint of my organizer is there. So this bag can be very weighty, very, very weighty, which is why I purchased the strap. And I got a lot of flack for it, I'll be honest with y'all. A lot of people were like, you shouldn't put a strap on that bag because it's gonna tear it because it's can't it can't support it it can't all the nine i heard it all but when you think about it i'm adhering the strap to this side and to this side or depending on how i'm holding whatever side is near me that's the side that i'm using but here's a question that i have for you is that if this bag was made with these handles, these handles here, were not meant to sustain the strength of what's in the bag, I don't know why they would have put them on here, okay? All I'm doing is distributing the weight from here to here to help me with my shoulder because these straps hurt here when this bag is really really heavy and so I decided that I wanted to go ahead and put a strap in this bag so I bought this Louis Vuitton bandolier strap okay so I adhere it to the outside and I'll show you here in a minute outside of that strap and the outside of this strap. So I'm not sure how doing that would affect anything different to the bag aside from having this other assistance here. So let me show you this up close. Okay. So when I said I'm adhering it to the inside, I'm doing the inside here, not here. 
and ultimately it flows to the top i mean it's when i'm carrying it it's like this not like that i just adhere it to the outside to have this strap on the inside that's just what i do whether it's better to put it on this side or i don't know that's what i do and so as you can see there is no wear and tear to the inside it has not stretched it i'll show you all of the because i can't guarantee that was the only one i may have put it on the outside of this one there's that one let's turn the bag around here's the other side and again it's gonna move that way and then here's this side no tearing of the fabric it has not done anything to my bag and you do what you feel like you want to do with your bag i'm not telling you to put a strap on it because i don't want i don't know how the newer ones are made i don't and so that's going to be the difference i cannot imagine that it's made different but I don't know because I don't know why they switched out the straps. Like that was very confusing to me. Why did they switch out the straps? And I may read up on it here in a minute just to see if I could find anything. But when I'm using the bag and this comes up, then yes. it does not go straight to the center because of the other strap there so that's basically how it will hang or pull or whatever it is you want to assess that it's doing to the bag but i have packed this bag full like i've had it very very full i've had this bag for three years so when it originally came out in 2019 I believe is when I purchased it. Yes, because I believe I purchased it in December, but I didn't preview it on my channel until 2020, but it was released in 2019. The only other thing I can gather about the straps is that these straps are canvas straps. The straps that they replaced them with are leather straps. So maybe a little bit more sturdy with the leather straps then the canvas straps i'm not sure canvas is pretty tough <laughs> but i don't know if maybe that was the reason they changed it but let me show you how it looks on with the strap here is the bag with the strap and as you can see it allots you just that much more space and comfort level the main reason i wanted this one was because it was thicker why they didn't make these a little bit thicker i have no idea and when they changed them to the leather straps i don't know why they didn't make them thicker because this little strap cuts into your shoulder really really bad so basically there it is with the bondelier strap on now the gm is a huge bag it's a huge tote and it fits a lot of stuff and so it also comes with handles so you have your handles here as well and i found that when i wore the bag with the strap i would wear it cross body like this and i would use the handles to help me navigate it sometimes i would even hold the handles when I was carrying it. Whether that assisted with the distribution of the weight and with the tugging at the inside, I don't know. But that's what I would do. I would normally maybe put my hand through it like that. The strap for me was to help me carry it without pain in my shoulder. And that was the main reason I got the strap. Now, if you decide to get a strap, you have to get it knowing that you're adding something to a bag that it didn't initially come with. 
And so that could be an issue. And so if that presents an issue for you and you're afraid that that might tear, then I wouldn't do it. But the weight distribution is the same to me, whether I have the strap or not. So the handles were built to sustain the weight of this bag, I'm assuming. And so whether I carry this bag with the straps or the handle, it should sustain the weight of what I have in it. Now understand that some of you may say, yeah, but you have two on each side and that, but see it, the, it's not tipping over when I have the strap adhered. See, it's not, it's very level, level. So it's not tipping over like this. I'm not, I don't have more weight on one side than the other. But again, as I mentioned, the purse did not come with a strap. Maybe it wasn't meant to have a strap, but for me, it's just been easier to carry this bag since I've added the strap. And I would hope that if they decide to make improvements to this bag, that they do so in these handles and not so much the length, like I can live with the length. That's fine to me. Again, I'm five one for size reference. So the length is fine to me. I just don't like the pain these cause on my shoulder, which is why I got the strap. So I wasn't looking for length. I wasn't looking for anything other than comfort on my shoulder. And if I put these two together, this strap is still thicker than the two straps together. So I would just say, proceed with caution. I've not had any issues with mine. It's not torn or anything. In fact, I'm going to show you the top of it as well, just so that I can give you all the angles of having used the strap on my on the go. And I've had it for three years and I've not had any damage to it at all. So I'm not telling you to get a strap. I'm just letting you know I've not seen any damage. Okay. So there is the top of it. I'm going to show you all of them. There's that one. There's this one. And here's that one. They are secure. And here is the inside again. No tears. There are no stretches on the fabric at all. I would think that if it can't sustain these handles, I would have already seen some stretch even with or without the strap. See, no tears, no anything. I will say that I do like that the on-the-go GM fits on top of my Horizon 50. That makes it easy to carry it as well. You can always hold the handles here like that and push your luggage along. But yeah, I, I do like that it fits on there and that the handles allow me to guide it. So that's one of the things that I do like about the handles that it comes with and how it fits on top of my luggage. So hopefully I was able to offer some insight to the viewer question that was sent to me in regards to the strap. When I bought this bag three years ago, I paid 2,480. Today, this bag is just right under a thousand dollars more if you wanted to purchase this bag. The value in this bag continues to go up and when I got my Marc Jacobs, the tote bag, the size is about the same. Honestly, I wish that Louis Vuitton had put similar handles as Marc Jacobs did, which are these here. See how much thicker these are. I definitely would have preferred a handle like this 
as opposed to a little skinny, thin. These are padded. You can see the difference there. See, little padded, little skinny, hurt your shoulder strap. <laughs> so I definitely would have gone with something like this. If I don't use a strap and I have a lot of stuff in this bag, these little straps are painful. I would even say the little handles are just bony type handles and they're hard and they also hurt after a while your hand holding them you can't put it on your shoulder if you have bigger arms see it barely like goes under there so anyway that is the reason that i purchased a strap for this bag i've not seen any damage so hopefully that gives some insight to the bag and just the wear and tear within the past three years i'm not really seeing anything the only other thing is i would have liked to have feet on this bag and again that organizer just really you can see it i mean it just took shape of that and i'm hoping that i'll be able to get this to kind of close a little bit more a review and a rant over this bag all in one so please let me know if you have any other questions about any other bag in my collection I will also let you know how long I've had it and if there has been an increase in its value. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.